And good morning to you. Meteorologist Dave Nussbaum here. 445 our time on this Wednesday hump day and we're starting off our day today. Much warmer out there, but big changes come to our weather for tonight as we get ready for a strong cold front to move on through. That could bring us some rough weather as well. Right now, though, kind of a partly cloudy morning out there, but uh, temperatures have been rising all night long as winds have started to come more out of the southeast and that onshore flow is going to help to make things a little bit warmer for us. Those southeast winds at six. It's 58 degrees right now in town. Dew point number continues to climb to at 51 as that continues to go higher. That means the humidity starts to come up as well. We're still in the 40s from Hammond to Bogalusa at 48, but 53 degrees now in Slidell. Lakefront at 58, 49, another chilly spot there in Homa. But you can see these temperatures have been running a lot warmer out there already, about say 5 to 15 degrees warmer because we have those southeasterly winds in place. They're light anywhere from about 3 to 6 miles per hour, but winds will be picking up a little later on during the day today. You can see here coming out of the southeast right around 9 to maybe up to 15 this afternoon. Temperatures warm up pretty quickly to 63 degrees by 9 o'clock near 70 by 1 o'clock this afternoon. Could see a few sprinkles trying to come into play as well too as we head to about 1 o'clock. Now we should be able to get to around 70, 72 degrees from Bogalusa to Slidell today. 73 maybe in Kenner, home at a bell chase about 71 today. Again, traditionally we should be only 63 degrees, so definitely much warmer out there today, but we'll have a drastic change coming tonight as our next front moves in. Here come the clouds building in. We're going to see a lot of cloud cover today, so hopefully you enjoyed the sunshine we had yesterday as high pressure now, which was over us, is sitting along the eastern seaboard. You have that clockwise flow around it, so you follow that around. That brings up that southeasterly wind here all the way ahead of our front, which is working its way through the plain states now. Notice there's not much precipitation with it yet. That'll change once the front gets a little bit farther south, taps into the warm, humid air from the Gulf of Mexico. We'll see showers and storms breaking out into Texas today and gradually some rough weather here for tonight and potentially some even severe weather. As you can see right along the Gulf Coast, South Louisiana, Mississippi Coast, we're a level two slight risk for severe weather. Some of the storms tonight could produce maybe some strong winds. I can't rule out a few tornadoes. Now it is uh, possible this time of year to get this. This is still our severe weather season here, and traditionally we've seen some severe weather, including tornadoes coming up before Christmas in the past. So uh, it's something we'll definitely be watching closely for tonight. So our chance to rain 30 percent, we have 90 to 100 percent chance for tonight before we dry out all the way through Sunday, and so we'll have a nice Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So leading up to it today, you see the cloud cover building up across the area. A couple of showers possible this afternoon, about 30% chance, maybe a few rubbles of thunder out there. But here comes their front. Check it out. Big storms developing here from Lafayette to Baton Rouge, 11 o'clock tonight. So again, as many people go to bed, you'll see that is headed our way. Gets into the New Orleans area here roughly about 2 o'clock in the morning. So this is when we could see some rough weather. So you need to find ways to stay weather aware for tonight. Have your phone so it gives you the weather alert in case there are some tornado warnings or severe thunderstorm warnings out there. The main threat for us is going to be a straight line, strong, possibly damaging winds. Number two to that will be any kind of uh, thunderstorms that start rotating, maybe out ahead of the line or possibly just embedded in the line that could produce tornadoes. So we'll be watching that very closely here as we go into tonight. Now that quickly gets out of here. So by 7 a.m. tomorrow, we're left over with some cloud cover here and about say 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, the clouds are gone. During the afternoon, beautiful day. So if you're going in church services tomorrow afternoon and evening. It's going to be cold, kind of blustery out there, but at least we'll have a clear sky. Clear for Christmas morning as well. As we head into 7 a.m., we're talking about some really cold weather out there. The winds start dying down a little bit too. Beautiful day for Christmas as high pressure kind of sits back off to our west and moving right over top of the area as we head into Saturday with those northerly winds in place around it and keeping us a little bit on the chilly side as well, even into your Saturday morning. So Christmas is going to be a cold one this year. We have to go back up. It's about 2013, 2014, and we had temperatures quite this cold across the area, potentially for Christmas Day. How much rain can we pick up, though? Yeah, pretty good downpour is possible, maybe up to an inch or so in some spots, so be aware that we could have some minor street flooding issues, but the line is going to be moving through fairly quickly as that cold air gets all the way down here for Christmas. So that means we're talking about tomorrow, 49 degrees with the wind chill in the 30s during the day. How about 28, 35 on Friday and Christmas morning? 51 degrees, our high temperature for Christmas Day. So there's your cold air coming back into play. So today, 73, 100% chance of rain roughly for tonight. 49 tomorrow, 51 though Friday with cold mornings, even on into Saturday. So we're talking light freeze on the North Shore for two nights. They're obviously protect the plants, pets, and people there. Warming back up Sunday and Monday and then Tuesday back into the 60s as another front moves on through.